My youngest son and I, we have this running joke that I have to live to be over 100. I mean, it's not a joke that he wants me to live to be that old, but the joke is because what he wants to be able to do when I do something is to just be able to look at other people and go, well, you know, she is over 100 years old. And that's going to excuse whatever I've said or whatever I've done that might be crazy. So that's kind of our little fun thing between us. But when you have in your mind that you're going to live to be over 100, you tend to pay attention to information that comes your way about people who live to be over 100. So most recently, I was introduced to the work of Dan, I believe you say his name, Butner. Not exactly sure, but he wrote the book called The Blue Zones. The blue zones are the areas of the world where we find that people tend to have the longest lives. The interesting thing, I'm not all the way into the book yet, but the thing that I've discovered is that it's not about their diet necessarily. So like in each of these blue zones, they do follow particular diets as far as like customary what they eat and stuff. But the one in this blue zone might be different than the diet in this blue zone. So what I'm saying to you is it's not about that. What they did find as one of the characteristics that helps people to live a longer life by six years longer than average in their zone is this, it's having a tight-knit family. By having those tight family connections, a close family, people that you love and that you can depend on and that you share things with. So. The small nugget big impact today is whether you want to live to be 100 or over 100 or not, there's a lesson here that you can take forward with you. The small nugget is that if you want to live your best life, then and, and as a byproduct, live six years longer on average, develop a close-knit familial relationship. Take that small nugget, let it have huge impact in your long life.